Well, again, hello students. This is video number three on gravity and now introduction to an orbit. What's an orbit? Well, we all hear of orbits and satellites around the Earth. How do they work? How do you get a thing to orbit? It goes all the way back to Isaac Newton a few centuries ago. He theorized this in his head. Crazy. He said this could happen. Here is his idea. Here's the Earth. Newton said, you put it up on some high mountain, a cannon. It's called Newton's cannon. And you shoot a cannonball. The cannonball goes out of the cannon and falls down in a parabolic curve. Now, Newton said, shoot it faster. You shoot it faster, it goes further. Let's go even a higher speed really fast. So faster yet, it goes even further. Newton said the following. Look at the curves. That's a parabolic curve. Curve, curve. It's slowly starting to match the curve of the Earth. If we go fast enough, the curve of the cannonball will match the curve of the Earth. Go fast enough, and it falls, it falls, it falls, it falls all the way around the Earth. So a satellite is always falling towards Earth. It never hits the Earth. It's always falling. It's called free fall. So all the uh, astronauts, when they're in the space shuttle, when they're in the uh, space station, it's falling towards the Earth, but it never hits the Earth. It's in constant free fall. It's falling, 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 falling towards the Earth. So an orbit is really an object falling towards the Earth that never hits the Earth. Question comes up. What is this velocity? Newton said a long time ago he could never, he could never do it. It's way, way too fast. Great theory, but he could never do it. He had no idea how you can get a thing going that fast. Well, how fast is that? Well, let's compute it. You simply go around the Earth, and are there forces? Yeah, there's forces. If there's a force, you draw a, what do you draw? Forces always require a, yeah, a free body. If I the, the body right here, the cannonball, it's pulled this way. Down here, it's pulled this way. Over here, it's pulled this way. It's always being pulled in towards the Earth. So there's your free body. Sum the forces equal to ma. One force on it, only one. That one force is simply mg. There are no other forces. Out in space, there's no air. It's a vacuum, no air friction. The only force on it is the weight, mg, mg, mass. Now, acceleration, that is always accelerating. When you go in a circle, when you go in a circle, you always accelerate towards the center. It's called the centripetal acceleration. The centripetal acceleration that always occurs whenever you go in a circle. Orbits a circle, therefore the acceleration is centripetal. A sub C is V squared over R. That goes in here. V squared over R. Now, there's your velocity. Ah, there's a velocity. These cancel out. Velocity squared is RG or D square root of RG. Now, there is the actual value for the velocity. So, an example. R, again, R is from center to center. So R goes from here all the way out to the object. That's R. If we put this at one 
times 10 to the 6 meters above the Earth. Here's the Earth's radius. So this distance is 1 million. This distance is 6.37 million. So the total distance is 7. 7.37 million meters. That's R. What is gravity? Well, gravity on the Earth is 9.8. I don't know gravity here. Stop and compute it. So let's go compute gravity. Gravity from a previous video was capital G M over R squared. Now be careful here. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters squared kilograms. That's the mass of the Earth. Mass of the Earth is mass of the Earth, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. This is 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, divided by R. R is center to center. Earth's radius plus 1 million meters. 1 million plus 6 million is 7 million. 7.37 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. You go with them and compute that. This times this times this. You'll find gravity out here in the orbit. Out here, which is 7.34 meters per second squared. Make sure you're checking my math on your calculator. You should get 7.34. So, if we compute this, this is 7.37 times 10 to the 6 meters. That's this distance. That's meters. Gravity is 7.34. 7.34 meters per second squared. You multiply those. Look at the units. Meter times meters. Meter squared. Second squared, square rooted, it comes up in meters per second. This times this, square rooted, it, it's about 7,350 meters per second. That's how fast you have to go to be in a circular orbit, circular orbit, at 1 million meters above the Earth. Why so high? You want to be away from the air, where there's no air resistance. So one million meters high. That's called a low Earth orbit. That's how fast you have to go. 7,350 meters per second. That's roughly five miles a second. That's really, really fast. If you don't go fast enough, you fall back to the Earth. Anyway, that's the velocity of orbit to go in a circle around the Earth at one million meters above the Earth. So we have this as our new equation. Now, we're not quite done. Let me add one more thing. We're going through the first three videos, the force, between two masses, capital G, M1, M2, over R squared. That's a force between any two masses. From this, we got gravity. Gravity is capital G, M over R squared. And we can compute gravity for the Earth, for the Moon, any place we want. We can compute gravity. There is the equation for gravity. Orbits. We have an orbit. There's a velocity. The velocity for a circular orbit, square root of rg. I'm going to put down a little c here. That little c you might think of is for a circle. That's OK. It actually stands for the critical velocity. Critical velocity. 
that's the velocity you have to have exactly to be in a circular orbit. Be careful now. That R is always center to center. This gravity is not 9.8. It's a gravity at the orbit. Okay? That's a gravity at the orbit. There's your first equation for an orbit. When I do this one, I think about give you gravity. Let's make it one equation and not two because this requires that one. Let's put this equation in for g. If I put this equation for g, I'll get square root of g m over r. So there is an equation, one equation, where I don't have to worry about gravity. Capital G, mass over r is that the same answer as this one. This requires these two equations. If I combine these two, I'll get this one. So there's two equations for a circular orbit. Little c, stand again. Critical velocity, if you want velocity for a circular orbit. One more equation. In a circular orbit, you go around like this. Once around, once around, that's 2 pi r. So once around, 2 pi r. So it's distance over time. So once around, 2 pi r, the time for one complete orbit is a time for, <laughs> they call the period, capital T. The period is a time for one event, the one event being one orbit. So now we have one, two, three equations. That's enough to start the worksheet. Anyway, if we're going to stop, we'll come back to more detail in video four. I'm all done talking. Bye-bye. <laughs>